Hey guys, welcome back. So it is Monday the 23rd. Now it's just about 7.30 a.m. Uh, you saw some clips earlier of me doing like my Bible study and um, like quiet time, prayer time stuff. Um, now that I am working from home full time, I want to get myself more into like a routine um, and get some habits like into place. So one of the things that I wanted to focus on was um starting my mornings like with my bible reading prayer time that stuff rather than jumping right into like social media um usually when i wake up like the first thing i'm doing is checking my phone looking at messages looking at you know facebook instagram all that um and i kind of want to get away from that so the first thing i did this morning was go downstairs make some coffee and then come upstairs and like i said i did my bible study for the day and um my prayer time and all that so i want to really want to try to get into the habit of doing that every morning um i think it's just a much more like peaceful way to start the day it's um more like productive and conducive to just like a content peaceful lifestyle than immediately jumping onto social media and seeing everything that everybody else is doing all that so um I'm also trying to reduce my screen time because I do spend a lot of time between work and YouTube and videos and reading and everything. I spend a lot of time on uh, on screens in one form or another. So I really want to try to reduce that. So uh, yeah, it's been a productive morning already. I got all that done. I got my to-do list done for the day. Um, I checked my emails. Uh, we are getting, I think I mentioned in last Lux vlog that ended yesterday, uh, we started getting quotes for like movers and we emailed a realtor last night in Florida. Um, so I checked my emails to try to stay on top of that stuff. And um, yeah, my two big focuses for today are going to be getting today's vlog edited, or well, last week's vlog that's going to go up today edited and up um i just have one more clip the last clip from last night that i need to edit and then i need to add like the music um and then just get it uploaded to youtube so i need to do that um i'm trying to edit i'm trying to get in the habit again creating habits i'm trying to get into the habit of um editing these vlogs as i go especially now that i'm home um i want to try to edit like each day as it happens um so i have all the clips that i did earlier um like the b-roll clips i already have those uploaded into my editing software so that i can just go in and edit and then i'll edit as i go throughout the week instead of trying to do it all on sunday um so hopefully i can get myself into the routine of that um then i also want to work on etsy i haven't my Etsy shop took like a big turn after the new year. Um, November and December were super busy. Um, the last like big swing of orders I had, I ended up sending out like 10 to 12 orders at once. Um, and then I've had like nothing for several weeks. So um, I know a lot of people, you know, after Christmas, beginning of the year, um, funds are tighter. People don't have as much money because... You know, Christmas and the year is always the most expensive time of year. Um, so hopefully, I'm hoping in the next few weeks as people start to get into like tax season and stuff, maybe it'll pick back up again. But I do want to still work on different design ideas that I have. Um, Valentine's Day is coming up, so I want to work on Valentine's design, stuff like that. So those are two things that I want to focus on today. Um, Etsy and uh, video editing. Um, and then also, I probably should talk to you guys about... What books i'm reading i want to focus on reading more in these vlogs as well um so i don't have any of the books here with me but i've been talking about these for a while now so i'm sure you probably you know you probably know what these are already but um i am reading um a court of mist and fury i am like 300 pages through that i think um and i have um the atlas six uh queen of the night um babel um 
what else i think that's it for physical books i believe i want to start where dreams descend at some point i want to start ninth, ninth house at some point um and then as far as audiobooks go i have um inheritance which i'm still reading um i'm still reading dead week um the coldest girl in cold town i have i talked about that last week um and i forgot i'll have to make a list of them um and go through that list uh here a little bit later but uh yeah i really want to focus more on reading this week and showing you guys what i'm reading and talking through the books and stuff um so that is it for now i'm gonna try to get this video edited and done before i start work at 8 30 so i will check back in later with you guys about 12 40 i am currently heading out on my lunch um i'm going to go over to the library that is near our house um i have some a couple of books that i need to return uh, i'm returning a couple of books from the D uh, truly devious series i had checked out all four books but i have not gotten to them 
Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and return the last two in the series because it'll probably take me a little while to get through um, all of them. So I'm thinking maybe I'll end up splitting. I wanted to do a vlog reading all of the Truly Davis books, but I think that's gonna end up spanning like a month or more. So I may end up splitting it into two. Maybe I'll do like the first half reading the first two books and then a part two reading the, um, you know, the last two books. Um, that way I don't have these books from the library for longer than I'm supposed to. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna head over there. I'll show some clips um, in the library and we'll see if I find anything else I want while I'm there. I don't know if I will um, just because I am, um, if you've seen my vlogs, you know that I'm trying to focus on um, like my own books that I currently own. So I don't wanna rent too many from the library right now uh, or borrow, I guess, too many from the library right now. Um, so then I'm just gonna return these, swap around for a little bit, take a break, enjoy my lunch, and then um, head back home. So today my main focus is trying to focus on Etsy. Um, my shop has really slowed down over the last several weeks and so I'm trying to put out some new designs, come up with some new ideas for like marketing and promotion and stuff. Um, so that's what I'm focusing on today and then tomorrow hopefully I'll be able to focus more on upcoming vlogs and stuff. So um, I do want to do a reading update. I know I haven't really talked about what I'm reading this week. A lot of it is the same stuff that I've been reading but I do want to go over it, kind of talk about where I am in these books and everything. So. Um, Uh, so yeah, I will do that when I get back home. Once Nick is off, it's easier for me to uh, film because he's not next door. I don't have to worry about him being on the phone or anything. So yeah, I'm gonna go go to the library, do what I need to do there, and then head back home and I will do a, a reading update once I get back. Friday now, the 27th, I think. Um, I don't even know when I last updated. I think it was like Tuesday or something. Um, this week has been kind of rough. Um, I've just not felt great this week. I've been super tired. Um, as you can see, I'm like all broken out. And um, 
I'm just not like felt like doing anything um so I didn't update I haven't read very much I did start um uh, secretly yours by Tessa Bailey I was given an arc of it which I'm really excited about um so I started that I'm like 30 percent through through it already um and so far I'm really liking it I'll do a reading update here in a little bit um but other than that I haven't read that much um and when I say reading update I mean basically talking about all the books that I'm like in the middle of um so yeah, I haven't been reading very much I haven't done much on my to-do list um I've just been kind of just relaxing watching movies watching YouTube working obviously um so yeah this vlog is not going to be very exciting but um I thought I would get in I didn't want to like finish the vlog on Sunday and have like three days um you know worth of footage so um I think this weekend we do, or tomorrow we do have our niece Wilder's first birthday and my brother and sister-in-law are doing like pizza and cake and stuff for her so maybe I'll get some clips there that I can include um but yeah like I said it's Friday now it's like 5 30 I think 5 40 uh, in the morning, the dogs woke me up, so whenever the dogs wake me up early, I try to just stay up. Um, so that's what I'm going to do. I have YouTube on. I'm going to see if I can find any reading sprints. Um, if anybody's live, maybe that would be great. If not, I'll see if I can find like some old ones. Um, if not, I'll just do like my reading playlist or something. Um, and then I may listen to, end up at some point before work, listening to maybe an audiobook and doing some knitting. I have been doing that as well just to kind of just relax and I don't know it's really like the only thing that's like low energy enough that I've felt like doing it so um yeah I think that is basically the update um I will check back in later on and um give a reading update hey guys welcome back so it is about 3 15 now um I just I've been working all day and then I went and did my hair because I haven't like actually done my hair like curled my hair or anything in a while and I just felt like I wanted to be like more put together tonight. Um this week has been kind of like not like not very productive. I just have not felt um like doing anything. I've felt very like low energy this week. Um so I haven't really gotten much done like on my to-do list and stuff. Um and uh I've like slept in as much as I can um you know like right up until it's time for me to go to work other than today today I ended up getting up earlier because the dogs woke me up um but for, for the most part I've slept in more than I wanted um and I've just kind of been spending my time like just relaxing reading knitting um and not really like worrying about my to-do to list and stuff and being productive um but it, today's Friday, I think I said that today's Friday, so the weekend's starting, we're, we usually go out to dinner on Friday, um, we're gonna go grocery shop and stuff, I have a nail appointment, I need to get my eyebrows done, things like that, so I wanted to be just a little bit more put together, I am still wearing my little hoodie thing, because um, I'll change a little bit later on, I do still have like an hour and 20 minutes of work, um, but yeah, this vlog have not had very much like footage in it or anything really exciting going on. I did miss like a few days um, this week. But yeah, um, you know, the point of these vlogs is to be like transparent and show my life, especially now that I'm like working from home and, um, you know, just to be real. So this is what, you know, a real week in my life looks like, or at least, you know, right now. Um, some exciting things have been happening. We have been in contact with a realtor in Orlando and have been really like looking into different houses and different options. Um, Nick's PTO for our Disney trip in April was approved today. Um, so that's awesome. So we only have like 86 more days, I think. Um, and yeah, that's basically it. I just wanted to get this clip in, um, for the weekend starts because I know that I don't usually update very much on the weekends. Um, like I said, tonight we're just going to go to dinner and I have a nail appointment. Then tomorrow we have my, um, or our niece's birthday party. 
So like I said, I think I said this in either this morning or yesterday, I'll try to get as many clips of that as I can. Um, and yeah, that's basically going to be it for this week. It's going to be um, probably not a very long one. And then again, I always say that and then I end up having like two hours of footage somehow still. Um, I started the week with the intention of editing like these clips as I went through the week. Like at the end of the day, trying to have that day's clips edited. Um, and it started off Monday good, uh, or doing well, and then I just kind of fell off. Um, so I said, I don't know how much I filmed on Tuesday, and I don't think I really filmed anything on Wednesday or Thursday, so I don't think I have very much. But I always end up thinking that my vlog is going to only end up being like 20 minutes, and then it ends up being longer. So, um, yeah, we'll see what happens when it comes time to edit, but, uh, yeah, that's basically it for now. Um, I do want to do like a last reading update. I'll probably do that on Sunday sometime. Um, I'm hoping to finish at least one book this week. I'm trying to think. I finished A Court of Mist and Fury this week. So I have finished at least one book this week. Um, uh, so yeah, I finished A Court of Mist and Fury this week, like I said. And then I'm hoping to finish, I'm currently reading Secretly Yours by Tessa Bailey. Uh, that is an art that I got from um, NetGalley. And it comes out on February 7th, I believe. So I'm hoping to finish that this week so I can get my review written and stuff like that. Um, I think I want to do, like I said, a reading update um, probably on Sunday sometime. And then start fresh next week. Hopefully next week will be a better um, week productivity wise and activity wise uh, we are going to be joining a gym here in town um, it's a lifetime fitness I think there's several of them throughout the country um, and so we're going to do that we're going to join for the beginning of the month so hopefully um, uh, we'll have some like gym content coming um i have kind of talked about how we're doing weight watchers and we're on every plate which we're still loving and i always have a link down below um i do want to show more of like our recipes and stuff for that next week and yeah once we start the membership we'll be starting it on the first once we start the membership i'm going to be trying to go to the gym in the morning before work especially now that i am working from home so i don't have to worry about that commute um and it's a pretty nice gym they have um locker rooms and like saunas, hot tubs, um, steam rooms, all that kind of stuff. They have a huge indoor pool and um, like tennis ball courts, pickleball, pickleball courts. Come summer, they have like a whole outdoor pool area that's very like resort style. Um, and yeah, so I'm actually pretty excited about it. I'm excited to go back to the gym um, in, I don't remember what it was, September, October of last year. I was going to the gym pretty regularly for a while there and I had, um, you know, that like became part of my content and part of my like weekly, weekly vlogs and stuff. So hopefully, um, that'll be coming back and, um, I want to start really, and I've talked about this too, um, like going through the house and organizing the house and stuff, um, which I planned to do this week. But like I said, this week, I just have not been feeling very energetic, um, and what else uh we're getting closer to our trip we still have i mean we still have time but uh we're getting closer and i do want to get my disney like bin together where i keep like stuff um like all my disney stuff prepared as we get ready for the trip so i want to start getting that ready um so i don't know if i'll do a separate video for that uh or if it'll end up being part of um like the actual weekly vlog um one of the things i ended up doing was shifting all of my uh, like YouTube, like this YouTube schedule that I made myself at, in the, in December, I created a whole like schedule and calendar for myself for all of 2023 for videos and stuff that I wanted, content that I wanted to make. Um, and I had a bunch of videos for this month, for like the second half of this month that I wanted to make that I ended up not getting to, um, or I just haven't finished the books or I'm still filming. So they aren't going up when I wanted. So I kind of shifted everything back. Um, so there's some new things coming in February that I hadn't or originally planned on, but, um, 
uh, yeah, it's like videos and stuff that I haven't done previously. So I'm excited about that. It's going to be some new stuff. And yeah, if you are watching this, if you've gotten this far, I really appreciate it. I know some of my um, weekly vlogs can be kind of disjointed and kind of jumping around a lot. That is something that I do want to work on um, going forward into 2023. That's one of my goals for 2023. I really want my vlogs to be more like um, aesthetic and just like cozy. Um, and um, yeah, so that's it. There's my like chatty update. Um, I will check in with you guys later. it was it might have been friday um but i think i took some clips this weekend from our dinner on friday we had really good dinner at this like texas hot chicken player houston's houston hot chicken i think it was super good then we had um our niece's birthday party last night and i took some clips of like the dessert char charcuterie board that my sister-in-law did and stuff like that then today we had kind of an interesting development something that i was not expecting um so yesterday nick randomly was like what if we just bought an rv sold our house and bought an rv and we could drive that to florida when we move and live in that for six months a year until we find a house that we want or build a house or um you know whatever the case is so um that was something that i would love to do i've always wanted to like live in an rv travel around um do like the tiny house kind of thing uh but i never thought there was something that he would have been open to um so for him to suggest it was awesome so today we went and we checked out a bunch of different rvs we went to a couple of different like rv dealerships and um looked at different options tried to see which op option would work best for us um we went out to a couple of rv rv parks out here just to kind of get an idea of what they look like how they run things like that um because this isn't something that either of us have ever done before um and then we talked to his dad who has had um, RVs in the past. We've also been talking to my aunt who has had RVs in the past. Um, so just talking to the people in our lives who have experience with this. And so far everybody that we've told this idea to thinks it's a great idea. Um, a lot of people save a lot of money living in RVs. Uh, you know, you don't have to pay for mortgage. You don't have to pay HOA. You know, your utilities are usually included in like the fee for the camping spot that you have. Um, so it can be a lot cheaper than you know uh owning a home um so it's definitely something that we are considering his dad the one drawback was that um we don't have a truck we got rid of nick's truck like three or four months ago um so we don't have any way to pull a big you know rv um so we we're talking to his dad about the different options and getting a truck um, but I was a little wary of that because I don't want to have a huge truck payment again. That's kind of defeating the purpose. Um, so his dad offered, his dad has a big like diesel truck. And so he offered to actually haul us, drive us to Florida. Um, so that, and then he can spend like some time with us. We can kind of travel, do like a road trip, cross country together. Um, and then he can stay in Orlando for a few days, maybe do Disney. Um, and that would be amazing because I wouldn't have to worry about buying a truck or having a truck um he would just kind of park us where we need to be and then we'd be good um so yeah it's definitely really exciting it was not an option that i had considered at all like i said um so i definitely feel like things are kind of starting to go in the right direction we also talked to a spoke to a realtor in orlando today we had our first phone call with her to tell her kind of the different things that we're looking for and the different areas that I want and stuff like that so things are really moving forward and progressing now which is super exciting um I haven't read much the only thing that I did read this weekend was I finished Sincerely Yours by Tessa Bailey 
Um, I liked it. I ended up giving it three stars. Um, 